Hi everyone, I thought I'd just quickly do this unboxing of what's inside this Trumpeter 1 16th scale USM 1A2 SEP MBT. That's the size and it's supposedly a thousand plus parts. Maybe not so much the tank, it's probably the bits of the tracks as well, isn't it? So there's the box. Here's the top of the box with the different colour schemes. So you can either do it desertized or I think only ones that were that colour of an M1A2 were in Korea, I think. And the same side of the box is just the same both sides. Right, I took those ones off. Let's put it down. Now is there a box inside a box? Okay, so there's boxes inside the box. Driving my room is, I don't have much room. So there's that, and a big box, and a big box. So what I'll do is I'll take those out and I'll be back with you in a sec. Hi there, this is the contents of box C. So we have the road wheels, the rubbers, the rear turret bin, or rack, which is better than the long one. So if I can somehow use this, I will. The clear parts, which could come in awfully handy for the periscopes. So we'll see what it's like. And headlights, which means I didn't have to make my own, which is a bit of a pain, but oh well, don't know. So yes, they must fit. They must be the turret ones. I'll find out. The gun mantlet, which is way different than the long one. Tight rotation piece. They must have contemplated turning us into a radio controlled tanker trumpeter. But I think Hang Long is a subsidiary, subsidiary of Trumpeter. Because a lot of their kits are taken off of their, um, like the Challenger. That was from the very first Trump of the Challenger release, which is why it's got some issues, because they guessed at stuff. I won't tell you what the issues are, because it's a bit depressing. And the screws. So that's box C. We'll open up next one. Now this is, I'm doing this backwards, box B. Um, this has got more of the kit in it. So smoke discharges, which I'll use. The machine gun mount, which I'll definitely use. Tow cables I've got coming from somewhere else, but I might use the bustle racks if they fit, because you know different sizes. I'll probably use the loader's hatch if I can get it fitted. I don't need to use that because I've got one from Decal MRC. See, I didn't buy this at the time because um, I just thought it would be too expensive because they're normally 180 quid. So this was 110 pounds. I couldn't resist. There's the Commander's Cupola, but I've already sort of done that, so I'm happy with what I've done. The extension bustle rack, which I'm going to use because it's better detail. I have one from Ludwig's Hobby. I don't know if it's normally like this, but there's a bit missing on it. The under turret section some spare um, cans and stuff which could come in handy. The blow off panels, none of this I'll probably use because it's the turret stuff and braces for the chassis, I guess. Um, the machine gun mount for the loader. Those panels, which might be better detail than the uh, hang long ones, so I might use those. Turret baskets. See what they're like. 
end of the gun. The 50 cal. Which I won't be using, but it looks pretty detailed, doesn't it? This is what I will be using, is the loader's machine gun. Because the shape raise is ridiculous. To get a set of machine guns, with the postage and everything now, because of Brexit, it was like 50 quid. So I just thought, this is why I bought this. There's stuff in here which I just will save so much money on in the long run. And I do feel bad about treating this as a cannibalised job, because it looks like a good model kit. Swing arms, road wheels, loads of spare road wheels. So I probably could chop these a lot and turn them into spares anyway. Um, ammunition boxes, I presume. Might see if I can mount that online. If I can cut the back away and then reintroduce this. I know I did all that work to do the smoke thing, but that looks kind of cool. And it also has the proper vents. Toe arms. Suspension stuff, the uh, heat shield, might use those because they're the clamps. That's what I need is the driver's mine plow thing. The rear shackle probably is better detail. There's a fuel caps which I'll probably use. Wheel parts, another fuel cap. tow hitch parts which is good so I'm just going to completely cannibalize this um, aerial mounts grab handles road wheel caps more road wheels a couple of sets of different sprockets but I hear that they don't actually fit properly to the tracks um, I think AFV model they do a you know, if you're making it as a static model, do some better copies that actually work. And then this is where I think you get the thousand part tally, which is all these tracks. And thank the Lord, I have nothing to do with these at all. I might um, drill out some of those track holder pins so I can use it on the front of the tank. But then the rest of it is just, Tons of tracks parts. Ooh. The other reason why I bought it. This photo etch. Those bolt shapes to go along the top of the edge of the side skirts. Also this would fit perfectly in the bustle racks if I can get them to fit. Um, decals, which will come in handy. Uh, trumpeter catalog, which is cool. The new models. I don't know if it's new anymore because it's been out a while, hasn't it? The instruction book. Oh, that's nice. And this will come in handy. A colour painting chart. I'll just make sure Trumpeter hasn't gone nuts and done the wrong thing. But normally, they're quite good. So, yeah. That's that box. Uh, I'll open up the last one. The last box. Box A. So, this is for the turret and in fact I'm not going to use it but this has as you can see it already has anti-slip if you want to build this as a proper model kit so it's already got anti-slip texture on it which is kind of good so that's the main hole Here's the main hole. That's... Also has anti-slip. Yeah, there's those fuel cap tops. So I'm gonna nick those and put them on mine. I do feel bad chopping this up. Oddly enough, the detail on the hinges isn't much better than the hang on. 
<laughs> That's not bad, but it's not quite right. And then the lower hole. That's quite well detailed. What if it comes with torsion bars? No, I don't think so. There's no attachment points, I don't think. So, yeah. Nice big screw hole. <laughs> I see how that works at the back. Maybe I won't be able to do that. Okay, I'll try to put the rear end of it on my brand. Yeah, so that's the whole lot of it. Now I've just got to work out how to put it all back again. Um, all right, fellas, I promised I'd do that. And then uh, I'll show you which parts I've put on my other arms. But hopefully somebody wants to build this kit. Um, it's sealed, I've only got one hand. So yeah. Uh, commander's, oh, the driver's hatch is molded on, so that'd be no better. I really do wonder if Hang Long really do have something to do with Trumpeter. Alright, have a nice Sunday.